Okay guys, so mapapansin nyo, medyo iba yung start ng video na to kasi meron na akong gustong gawin. Alam nyo naman na lahat ng storya namin ni M and alam nyo naman na as of this moment, we are um, exactly 4 months na kami. And with all of the things na nangyari, mga napagdaanan namin, um, this may sound fast pero alam ko sa sarili ko and I am sure na binigay talaga siya sa akin ni Lord. So, with that being said, Parang nang sasabihin sa inyo na gusto ko na talaga pakasalan tong tao na to. Actually, nandiyon siya. Pwede niyo tayo marinig pero tinatagalog ko lang. Gusto ko na talaga siyang pakasalan. Okay? Pero dahil kilala niyo ako and matagal na kayo nanonood sa akin and I am on the stage of really pursuing her na magpakasal na kami. Hindi niya naiintindihan to. Gusto ko natanungin siya ng mga bagay. Ha? Huh? What? Your voice is always loud. Why are you speaking quiet? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, ang gusto kong gawin ay makasure tayong lahat. So hindi lang ako yung makasure, pero kayo din. And para makasure tayo, kailangan natin tanungin kung bakit niya ba talaga ako mahal. Kasi medyo na ano ako eh. Australian girl. Like a Filipino boy and that's not normal but of course she has reasons why she loves me and kung papakasalan ko na siya gusto ko talaga na makasura ko sa kanya so basically meron tayong itatanong sa kanya na sampung rason kung bakit niya ba ako mahal para malaman natin kung dapat na ba tayong magpakasal abay hello um, so we are going to make a new vlog. Yay! But this time, I want you to be the one who is introing the vlog. Piso. But it's in Tagalog, okay? <laughs> okay. In yes. Tagalog. In Tagalog. Yay. Yeah. Guys, hindi to na intindihan ni M. Hindi na intindihan ni M kung ano yung gusto nating sabihin sa kanya. And dahil Tagalog to, hindi niya alam kung ano yung gusto kong ipasabi sa kanya. So, Grabe! <laughs> so, kung ano yung sasabihin Bani. niya. <laughs> so, kung ano yung sasabihin niya, hindi niya naiintindihan to. Kaya, Jula, basta balad. Okay, game. One, two, three, go! Apat na buwan na kami ni Adam. And marami na rin kaming napagdagonan. Daanan. Daanan. Da ah, daanan. At gusto niya, niya na ako pakasalan. Mm -hmm. Pakasalan. Pero, siyempre, gusto niya, niya na mas maging malami, malalamim. Malalim? <laughs> Malalim pa ang mga raisins. Rason? Rason. Rason. Kaya tinanong niya ako ng nang nang sampang rason kung bakit ko siya mahal at gusto niya na mo morning? Marinig? Marinig nyo din to at mag-comment kayo kung boto ba kayo sa akin para sa kanya. Yay! Is it? Is huh? it? It's nice. It's sick. It's oh, nice. you don't need to know need to know the uh, the meaning. I know mahal is love yeah. something, right? It's just between us. Us. We have a secret. Meron tayo secret, guys. Ha? Huwag niyo sasabihin sa kanya yung meaning na ano, ha? Sa comment section, ha? Okay, guys. So, basically, yun yung mga yari sa video na to. Ang sampung rason kung bakit nga ba ako mahal ng aking mahal. 10 things I love about Adam. That's the movie. 10 things I hate about you. And it changes to they fall in love. It's really cute. Okay, do we start with one? Um, his body, actually. You have like real strength 
and like you have a real man's body and I, I you know a lot of people talk about physical is very superficial and all of this right but when I look at Adam you know he can do stuff like he survived through crazy stuff he can carry things you know he's carried me <laughs> um yeah I wanted to start with that because I think a lot of time like a lot of the times it's like left later on because people don't want to sound superficial and all this but it is something that's important and Adam like he looks after himself you know and he dresses well and he takes pride in his appearance number two his mind his mind is very complex and intricate and detailed and something that I think I think I haven't encountered before because Adam is like the only person in my life who's actually surprised me in my life like surprised me like caught me off guard sort of thing and his intelligence is like seen in everything he does you know can be you can say book smart or street smart and all this stuff but if adam sees a problem his immediate reaction is to fix said problem right and for me that's the biggest obvious thing of of someone being incredibly intelligent it takes a lot of mind power to manage ourselves but to manage yourself and hundreds of thousands if not millions of people watching you at the same time takes a mind that is unparalleled to anything I've ever seen so yeah also like I can't figure him out and I love it that leads into number three so his soul Adam has this thing that's like very like perfect in my opinion because he has development of character of a man right but he has this soul of a child at the same time and it's insane because he loves everything when I'm watching his vlogs right I see someone who's excited about life and I have always been the one in my family in my circle of friends in my school in my uni in work in anything right I was always the one who brought the energy and brought like the excitement and everything but Adam loves life and he gets excited about everything to be honest and he is constantly curious very much and growing so yeah okay number four faith so obviously for me it's something i would never experienced was a the relationship i wanted which is like with a, a man of god who not in a you know not in a pretentious way not an arrogant way just in a very well-founded relationship with god and jesus very confident in it you know not shying away i think that's that faith is what i think is presents itself in his courage right adam does things that are scary and he looks him in the eye and he runs at them, right? With faith, not with stupidity. There's a difference. Number five, his behavior. Someone is very obvious in who they are from day one. I really believe that. And Adam never spent like days gossiping to me about his, you know, exes in his life or this. He, he only spoke highly of them but he respected me enough to, you know, separate this. And, and I think it's something in today's world, everyone wants the person to, you know, hate, like hate these people or hate this. But to me, that shows immense maturity in a man to say, you know what? These people were great people. It's just, I, you were the one. Like hear that kind of thing rather than, you know, them go, ah, oh, they were these, they were that. Cause you know, things end as they begin. And I think if they're gonna say that about them, they'll say it about you. So. I think that really hit me and additionally the way that you behave in a relationship so like not only the physicality the respect the leadership the, the courage and the just all around like attentiveness and thoughtfulness and and connection like I'm very physical I love that you're constantly holding my hand or making sure I'm on the right side of the road or making sure like all these little courteous things or bringing flowers you know or taking attention to detail which is kind of sweet and lovely so okay values and morals this one is like huge for me like mega mega because we've explained the story in the car in the podcast right so I won't go into it too much but basically what happened there kind of led me to realize that I was with someone who their values meant more than the temptations of this physical world you know and more so than that it's even like everything in life his morals came above his cravings in the physical body okay next one is kind of epic also this one is resourcefulness and adaptability 
but it flows on into a few other things. So obviously through many of your vlogs, right, you can see that you, you're not held back by nonsense. Like, if you have one pizza, that's what you have. If you have, like, a cardboard thing, that is your house. If you have cling wrap, that is your house. Like, most things end up your house, actually. The thing is, for me, I don't ever want to be in a relationship with someone that I'm parenting, right? And for me, I love the challenge of life. I love life, and I love figuring things out and building things and all this. And he has capable hands. His hands not only hold, like, the hopes and dreams of like millions of people but they hold the capacity to build really if I look at what I'm saying here one of the biggest things I love about Adam is his ability to build a strong foundation family <laughs> okay, this is a two-sided thing of actually so when I first was talking with Adam and this is after the mountain right and we're talking immediately I was on video calls with his family straight away like not only is that courage and like in a little bit of insanity which is always good but it's it's showing that um his family is so important to him it wasn't that i was brought in specifically and made to meet family blah, blah, blah. it was that he was constantly with his family right and he was friends with his mom and in australia at least that's not the most common thing usually there's some sort of rift that tears people and then there's a big complaint and blah blah how are you with your mum? Oh no, she's so annoying and I've never heard Adam ever say a bad word against There's a there's a lot to say about that because if you're looking for a guy, the way he treats his mum is a very good sign. Additionally, about his sisters and his dad as well, you know, and he was constantly talking about how beautiful they are, how lovely they are, how these and these and, and that's a massive, massive, massive sign because that translates in my mind to a man who's gonna be proud of his family in the future, you know? So I'm like, whoa. Second last one is kind of a flow on from the intelligence thing. And this is something I saw in him and I was like, because for me, I predict a lot of things because I see patterns and I'm a bit socially awkward sometimes because of that. So when Adam makes jokes, they catch me off guard. His sense of humor, I love so much. It's insane because for me to make me laugh takes a lot. It takes a big brain like a mega huge a giant samong di ma like a <laughs> very good brain right and adam is so quick like so quick I, and i'm like feel like i'm like having to catch him like his energy is so high right and he's is so succinct it's so high and it captures everything around it so it, when he says something right because he doesn't waste his words but when he says something everyone hears it and it's so funny and like a sense of humor shows your brain, shows how fast you can think, but it shows your observation as well. And it shows how you can understand people and it shows how you can understand situations. And it shows if, you... but he, this is the thing, this is the catch. He's doing this in his second language. And I'm like, what the brain, giant, enormous brain. And I, I really love that. But like, even for example, your video on the, the one that made me actually like, I couldn't breathe laughing like I was laughing so much I was in pain my abs were like ding, ding, right was the news report this watch my YouTube video <laughs> Alejo, uh, thank, you. thank you okay so when I met you about a week before I was talking to someone I was close with and I said I'm done with boys completely I mean I didn't date anyways so, but I was like I'm not looking for anyone blah 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 because I need someone who's consistent and I've spoken about this also in the podcast um, but when I met Adam he has the word consistency tattooed on his leg right and I'm like that's insane but that's really messed up but consistency isn't just about doing the same thing again and again right consistency is about the character being so clear and so well founded that it can move freely in all circumstances in all situations and it means you're the same person with everyone you speak to you don't change and deceive a lot of people change who they are depending on who they're with he's the same with his family same with his friends same with everyone and I've never seen that that level of consistency he's consistent in his work he's consistent in his life he's consistent in the effort he puts in he doesn't give me flowers one time and then like ignore me like and not give things he's consistent 
Consistency is also about honesty. And when Adam brought me to the Philippines, he had a choice to bear his soul, to show everything of his life, to show who he is, to show where he's from, to risk seeing if I was gonna, you know, judge him or his family or his life or his country even, you know? He had a choice to hide, but he chose to be consistent. And so when I came here, he could have easily faked everything, you know, and taken me only to the nicest places. But he chose to take me home, like real home, like meet his family in Navota City. He chose to have faith, not not look at fear and not, not do something stupid once again, like to have faith and to actually walk with faith, walk with God and, and basically just say like, God, I want this to be the one, but if it's not, I'm okay. He actually was okay. If I was the kind of person who was going to walk away from him based on where he had come from, that was okay. And that's faith, that's consistency, that's courage, that's everything. Like, Adam, <laughs> oh my goodness. Adam is one of the only people I've ever met that doesn't drain me because honesty is very powerful and in every moment with me he's had the faith and the confidence in his God and in who he is and what he's developed in this life and in his ability to be human and to make mistakes that it's okay to be Adam. In fact it's more than okay to be Adam. And the only way you can ever know if you love someone or if they love you is to be 100% real yourself. And I really believe that Adam was 100% real with me. A real man with a humongous heart, a giant brain, a, an amazing, amazing, amazing body, so foggy face. That's 10. <laughs> Talagang napaksampong rasa na ito. Eh, parang lahat ng lani, perfect eh. <laughs> sa kanya, sa kanya. At dahil nakapagbigay na ng mga rason si M kung bakit niya ako mahal na mahal, ako naman ang magbibigay ng aking sampong rasa na ito. Mm -hmm. Tapos, 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 tapos. <laughs> You know you're an amazing storyteller, right? Or at least you know it's it's doing its purpose, right? You know you're smart and you know you're a good leader and you know you're an amazing man, but mm. you're an inspiration, right? And many people say this, but you are so handsome. But survey in the comments how foggy is Adam. Leave it. I dare you I dare you to leave it in the comments because he's probably gonna wanna edit this out. So survey in the comments. How seriously handsome is this man? Like Seriously, out of 10, 10 out of 10, solid, the most boggy. And he will not even, <laughs> yeah, I dare you to leave this in. Because the thing is you need, 